This is the Grasshopper GTX by Duncan. This beautifully designed competition style yo-yo is my first throw from Duncan, but after this review, you'll see that it won't be the last. This is Janos Karench's signature throw, and it was designed to emphasize the more fluid and complex style that he has, while making it an absolute tank. From the first throw, I immediately noticed how well balanced this yo-yo was. Its stainless steel rims helped it push through tricks and made it incredibly reliable. With a slightly wider gap width, this throw will take any complex combinations you throw at it while maintaining its balanced and steady feel. Out of the box, I would have said that it's a slower style throw, but if you're someone who loves some weight, this yo-yo will go faster than you need while remaining in the center of your string. I also really enjoyed the coating of this yo-yo as it is smooth to the touch and doesn't hold onto fingerprints. I would recommend this yo-yo to anyone looking for a premium throw that is under $100. Its balance, looks, and feel have me grabbing for this throw more than any other yo-yo on my shelf at the moment. If you want a new yo-yo that looks as good as it plays, check out the Grasshopper GTX by Duncan. And now, on to the after yo. Hello everybody, and welcome to this segment that I like to call the after yo. So on today's episode, we're going to be talking a little bit more about the Duncan Grasshopper GTX. Which was a yo-yo I was kind of, I mean, I was really excited about because I mean, it looks absolutely incredible. So, I mean, there was that. I just never have used a Duncan yo-yo, so I really didn't know what to expect. And I kind of thought it was going to perform a lot differently than what it did. So, as I mentioned in the short review at the beginning of this video, this yo-yo was designed for Janos Karinch. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing that so wrong, so if you're watching this, I'm so sorry for pronouncing your name wrong. He's a really smooth style player that has these complex tricks that wrap the string around the bearing in really unusual and complex ways. So I think that's why it was designed a little bit wider uh, in the GTX version of the original Grasshopper so that he could do more complex tricks within the yo-yo without uh, causing any unnecessary binds or string tension that uh, would ruin his tricks. So the first time I used this, I noticed the amazing weight that these stainless steel uh, rings added. Uh, you could really feel that this yo-yo didn't want to stop spinning and it wanted to just kind of play through all the tricks that you're throwing at it. Um, I'm not that great of a player as I've mentioned before, but it just took everything that I wanted to throw at it. So I've seen in some other reviews that this yo-yo is kind of branded as a slower yo-yo, but I think I would disagree with that. I think it's really up to uh, how you kind of want your yo-yo to feel. I know that when it's kind of heavier, I want to make it go faster because it just has this really good feel that it just wants to go wherever you want to throw it. You just need to put a little bit more power into it. I wouldn't say that it's floaty, but it will just kind of go wherever you put it. You just need to put some chutzpah, some weight into it so that you're, uh, so that it's going where you want to put it. So I also mentioned that this design is really beautiful. Um, I have the blue and gold version. I bought this used, so I don't have the box to show you an unboxing of it, but the blue and gold version is incredible. Um, I also really like the white and gold version of this. Uh, I would have purchased either. But the matte kind of blue doesn't hold on to any fingerprints, which I really like because you don't want to have kind of a sticky style yo-yo. The bearing is really quiet and is very satisfying when you're throwing around the string, especially when it's going fast has this ring to it that I really enjoy doing. Again, I can't finger spin, but it does have a smooth surface on the middle in there, uh, so it will do that as well. I'm still working on that, so it'll, it'll get there eventually. I also use just regular string on this, so nothing too thick. So it, it didn't have any binding issues, it binds every time that I want it to, and it only binds when I don't want it to when I mess up the trick, which isn't the fault of the yo-yo. Another thing to mention is that the design of the interior uh, really just wants to land on the strings. It's not too organic, but it's also not too aggressive, uh, so it can do competition and, and relaxed style playing. I wouldn't say it's organic style, but if you do want to play it more relaxed, it will do that. But if you do want to play more competition style, more aggressive, it will also do that happily. So yeah, there's not too much else to say about this. It's, it's incredibly balanced. It doesn't want to tip to the side, it just wants to stay in the center of the string, which I find incredible, uh, based on the fact that I'm still learning how to throw, so any help that I can get from the yo-yo itself is much appreciated. Um, it also just wants to play through tricks, which helps me a lot, and it feels so good to play. If you want to play more relaxed, that's amazing, it's going to do that for you, and it's going to do it incredibly well, but if you also want to tone up the speed, it's going to do that with you as well. You just need to put some more power into it, and you're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, so it's about $80 US on yoyoexpert.com. So you can check it out, it comes in different colorways that are all incredibly beautiful. I highly recommend it, it's just a really fun throw, I think that you'll also really enjoy it. 